the universe will provide me with what I need. I just need to breathe. I just need to be so that I can clearly see that I am healing gracefully. A head held high, tall and proud, feel the drumbeat of my heart and the rhythm of my womb. Circular cycles go round and round, interchangeable, multi-dimensional, making a journey from seed to flower, from pain to power. All parts of me, my mind, my heart, my energy field, is all pulsing with love for me. Wild, wise love, constant and transient, living and breathing love it is me all me. I am love. The love surrounds me like a fire and I am in it, hot and free, dancing with the burning flames of passion for myself. My heart beats in my chest and most of the time I don't even notice it. I say thank you heart for not stopping, for not giving up, even though you've been bashed and bruised and broken just a few completely in two. Time is your doctor, creativity your nurse, and love your medicine. This love spreads out across the world on wings, unites me with all beings, gracefully gliding through a glowing blue sky, leaving a trail of love in its path for the birds to bask, gently floating down over mountain tops up high, scattering into ocean, lakes, and seas, crashing in with the waves. In and out. And in, and out. While the earth breathes, all for me, by me. Fueled by love, this magical love spreading and flowing, constantly growing, taking me over until all I can do is smile and wait. The universe will provide me with whatever I need. Oh yes, if for I am it, and it is me. Thanks everyone for all your support. Please share this poem. Um, I'm 34, I have inflammatory breast cancer that's spread to my liver and my bones. I have a massive fungating wound on my breast it's triple negative breast cancer which means we can't it's not hormone based but for some reason i got i contracted it or the cyst a cyst on my breast started growing alongside my baby when i was pregnant last year i got diagnosed when he was four and a half months old it was quite a late diagnosis because the milk um had masked it and no one knew what it was i was in spain no one did a biopsy and it was only when i came back to the uk that i got diagnosed I've had a really long journey since then and I almost totally healed and then and then it all it all started to ha happen again and cascade and the cancer is like friggin wildfire. <laughs> um, so I now have this going on. I've got this breast which was the one that I didn't have cancer in originally is now getting harder and harder every day. Um, and I've got cancerous nodules underneath them that weren't there last week. Um, and then this is the other side so this is like me padded with like 10 different um not 10 three different big big absorbent pads to absorb the blood that i wake up covered in every single morning because i have an open wound because a doctor did dodgy surgery in spain and shouldn't have didn't know i had cancer <laughs> didn't check if i had cancer so i've had a really really hard journey it's been very long i'm in a lot of pain now i have my boy he's 10 months old now I'm going to Turkey to a chemotherapy center to have revolutionary kind of like alternative treatment combined with insulin based low level chemotherapy. Um, it's my best chance to live. The NHS here in the UK, I'm in a hospice at the moment. They are only offering me radiotherapy once a week. That is just simply to take down some of the inflammation and try and get rid of the pain. They look at me like I'm dead already. They don't think that I'm probably gonna make it, I don't know, beyond the six weeks, I've no idea, but they've given up on me and that's not the kind of care that I need. So I need to get to Turkey as soon as possible. 
Um, so I need your help to share this video and I need your help to fundraise for me. Um, I need your help to, to just send me love. I do a meditation at nine o'clock every morning. I bathe in golden light for 20 minutes and then I listen to the Bee Gees staying alive and I dance around my room. If you want to join me, join me. If you've got cancer and you want to join me, please, please join me. I need people who have cancer. I need inflammatory breast cancer, triple negative, you know, people like me to contact me. Um, we can help each other. And also I hope that some specialists, some cancer specialists, some oncological nurses, people around the world, people in England, in the UK, in this system, um, would be interested in the case, would feel, wow, what's gonna to happen to this girl? And I'm very open to sharing scan results, um, photographs, like all of it with, you know, cancer specialists and also people who have the same as me. I'll be totally transparent about it. Um, so that's it, I need your help, this is the story. Um, I'll be making more videos as we go on and trying to get media involved. Thank you. I'd appreciate it if you just share subscribe below details of how you can fundraise how you can donate money to me below as well thank you bye bye